Sparks Live. Thank you for joining us today. It's mighty cool out there today, kids. It is. Can I tell you? What? I yes. had to break out the, jacket. the first jacket of the season this <laughs> morning. You? I had to. Well, it, I, I know when I was on my way here, it was like 53, 54 degrees. Yeah, that's true. It was a shock, weather. Tom, yeah. to open yeah. the door to let my cats out first. I usually let my cats out first and then yeah. my dogs. And I opened the door and I was like, yeah. <laughs> Your cat's like, I don't want to go out there. Yeah, it no. was, so, it was yeah. surprisingly cold. Yeah. From what we're used to. Currently. Well, I was trying to find out what to wear, and I get the weather on my phone, and nothing would load on my phone, so I just wore what I wore, and I'm not. I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm not you should have. I did. I had to go get a jacket out, so I wore it yeah. for the first time. See, that's. I mean, I'm yeah. always wearing a sport coat, and yeah. so, so I was yeah. all right. Guys are but always covered. Yeah, a little cooler, and it would have been. Well, maybe I should put a sweater on too. <laughs> so. You know, what I'm sad yeah. about what the flowers dying. You know, oh, when it gets know. this year, the flowers yeah. start dwindling yep. away, and they do. the color is a little... All that means is in a few months, you have new flowers. In a few in months? In a few months, like long. Like seven, like That's long winter months. Yeah, I Something know, to look forward to, Jeremy. <laughs> I don't like winter. You have indoor either. flowers, though, don't you? Indoor plants, yes. Yeah, okay. yeah. And but, my orchids died. Oh. I have had the same what? orchids for years. What? Oh, it's a long what story. Happened? They accidentally got left in the barn while I, where I have heaters. Oh. oh and I just I just misplaced them when I moved, yeah. and I had the heaters going for the plants. Yes. Well, during one of the cold storms, the circuit blew, and I didn't know in the barn, because oh. I didn't check it every day like I should. And I had beautiful purple and blue and white orchids, three separate plants that I've had for years and years. Oh, I'm sorry. And they died. If I get you some just like it, will you be all right? Maybe. Okay. I like gifts. I are know they, you do. <laughs> are orchids difficult to work with? I mean, I've heard that they're many, really many, have to pay attention I tell you, to Tom, it. I thank the Lord above for my grandmother in heaven for inheriting her green thumb. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Because a lot of people have trouble with them. I have yet to have trouble with the orchids. Really? They, for some reason do well with me. What about violets? Do you do well with violets? I, I've had a violet for 10 years in my bathroom right now. Wow, because those yeah. are kind of finicky too. But, you know, the violets, I actually, it was in my uh, old doctor's office in Branson. Mm -hmm. She was here, pick some, picked up part of that violet, put it in a plant, and no, it's the same, are you it's serious? The same violet wow. today. See, I'm one of these guys, you have a green thumb, mine is like brown. <laughs> I can. I, I mean, the only thing I can't kill are weeds. Don't they, let it. They're they're everywhere that I go. And your roses that you say grow crazy. Yeah. They do. Oh, but the, the reason they grow is because I just sit back. I don't do anything to them. I don't outside of look at them once in a while, but not for too long because I'm afraid that'll kill them too. But, right. Mm -hmm. No, they just they're like wild and they just grow. But you like your roses. Who doesn't like roses? Right. No. Well, I'm just I mean, saying. Did they take great. over the sidewalk or what? They no. They well because I do cut them away from keeping, you know, yeah. the, the post person from coming up. Yes. Yeah, because they would overgrow the whole thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, from yeah. if I sit on my, my porch, you can't see me and I can't oh, see you. Oh, I like yeah. it that way. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. um, also, by the way, yeah. I wanted to give you an update. You remember my cat, Fergie, who was very, very, very sick in ICU at, in Columbia? Oh, yeah. yeah. And was blind. Yes. yes. Thought that he'd never see again. I just wanted to show you a picture from yesterday. This is yesterday in my backyard. I would. I just want to give you an update because he's doing so well. However, I found myself now. Tom, you have children. Yeah. Tell me if this is right, because now that he's been ill, yeah. every little thing that he does differently now, I'm paranoid he's getting sick oh, again. Oh no! Yes. So he acted a little bit strange this past weekend, and I was seriously. I run to the vet at the drop of a hat yes. because yeah. I'm so worried. Mm -hmm. So I said, Jeremy, calm down. Don't take him to the vet. Let's see how he does by Monday because I didn't want to have to go to the emergency vet. Mm -hmm. And he's fine. He's at, but again, I think it's like when you have a child and they're yes. sick and you're so over, you're you overprotective and you know how they are Some, and then they yeah. act different. Sometimes that happens and you just, you, you just have to get used to the fact that they're not going to fall apart. The cat is a strong animal. Yes. They've yeah. been around he has, forever. And I'll tell you been this, a lot. He does have a different personality since he's been sick. He's a totally really? different cat. Well, sure, you yeah. left him with strangers yeah, and then you... He bites oh. you now, right? Yeah. No, I'm teasing. He's All much right. sweeter, actually. I'm so. glad he's doing well. I he's know afraid he's fine. you're going to leave. <laughs> I know. Yeah. All right, we've got a fun show today. Breeze Little Closet is here. Cox Health and Reborn Candle Company are also in the Ozarks Live studio. But before we get to all that, here is what is on the radar. Okay, I've got something for you musical theater fans. You oh, might like. All right. Yeah. All right. Did you hear that Andrew Lloyd Webber's smash hit musical Cats is coming to the big screen. Hadn't heard. Really? I, I thought had not everybody heard that. had seen it by <laughs> right? now. I, I had no idea. I read this story today because right. Sir Andrew just let one cat out of the bag. 
Get it? Pun intended. Yeah, we get it. We let the cat out of the That Taylor Swift will have a role in the film, which what? I'm still shocked about, by wow. the way. Wow. Mm. He has now offered to Is that her in makeup on the left? <laughs> That's it. Which oh, one's Andrew Lloyd Webber? Yeah. He needs some plexiderm oh. on the left. Plexiderm. <laughs> Sorry. Andrew Lloyd Webber is now offered. You're some not going to get a part in the movie. <laughs> I know. <laughs> He's offered uh, some details on the role that the 28-year-old pop star will play. She's going, quote, she's going to play one of the other of the McCavity girls. Ooh. Lloyd Webber okay. said he's age 70, and he told Vulture on Monday. In the stage show, McCavity the Mystery Cat is performed by two felines, so she's mm -hmm. one of the other. The previously announced cast members for the Cats movie are American Idol alum uh, Jennifer Hudson, 37. She'll reportedly play Grizabella, who I believe sings my favorite song in that movie. Okay. Midnight, look oh, away she'll do from that the wonderful. I love that song. Yeah. Uh, she'll play Grizabella. Ian McKellen will play Gus the theater cat, and James Corden is in the cast as well, which I couldn't find what role he was playing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Andrew Lloyd Webber's musical Cats, the movie adaptation, is set for a December 2019 release. Have you all seen Cats? Mm hmm Have you? Mm -mm. They've, they've done it at a little theater. You could have just walked <laughs> we over gone. and, yeah. I gotta tell I you, we did a whole review of it in high school, of the Cats musical, but I've never actually seen the production. Oh, well, thank I you I feel for, embarrassed. Thank, thank you yeah. for admitting that, because I just admitted I know, I feel terrible. It was on Broadway forever. They even had a Cats theater, I think. They did. Where have we been? I remember going back in Broadway and seeing where it was at the Winter Garden Theater, I yep. believe. Mm -hmm. And cats, and now that I actually have two cats, I thought Fergie leading into this cat story was pretty good. That was very good. I think I'd appreciate the musical now that I own cats, that yes. I have babies. You're gonna yeah. Take your cats to see the movie? I would. I think they'd appreciate they it. They would lot. freak out. <laughs> okay. All right, that's totally a different subject. Okay. Traveling can be a hassle these days. Extra long lines and security, you know the drill. But Homeland Security has been working on a new way to keep us secure. Now, some think this is a great idea. Others think it's a privacy mm. infringement. Later this um, year, Delta will roll out facial recognition at its terminal in Atlanta for all international flights. Six major cities have completed trials and are being used in the U.S. Now, Homeland Security is counting on the airlines to collect the uh, recognition data. Some say the scanners could be optional, but I'm not sure how that works. In one major city this month, someone was caught with a fake passport, so evidently it has worked. This new technology should shave off some time from your flight, as it will with pre-security boarding and that sort of thing, before you head out of the country. Now, this is not technology. It's not slowing down. Homeland Security is in full forward motion to get this up and running, whether you're for it or against it. And there's, you know... I don't see what the problem is. Well, if if there's not if you're legal and everything's fine and you're not doing something you shouldn't, I don't see a problem with that. I don't. Do you see a problem? Because like to open yeah. open my phone, I look at it and it has my facial recognition and it opens. So yeah, but to me, I got nothing to hide. So. Right. Yeah, and you know, if it makes it safer, if right. I'm up at 36,000 feet, right. I want to know everything's okay. Quite, Amen. Absolutely, quite honestly, Tom. How, how much better security could you get than that? I mean, everybody's thumbprint is yeah. specific, and that's a pretty good what way to handle What about the Do you remember a few years ago with Homeland Security, they were doing the scans that I guess were a little bit... You know, you go in there and it does your whole body. You uh -huh. put your arms in, yeah. And I suppose it was revealing too many details. Do you remember yeah. that I one? I do remember yeah, that one. Yeah, I had to do that. one of those. Did you have to? Yeah, did at, you? at uh, in New York. Uh, JFK, JFK. The LaGuardia. One, LaGuardia. LaGuardia. I had to do it at LaGuardia. And <laughs> I just kind of left. I went, yeah, okay, fine. Because oh, like well. the one we have at Springfield in Dallas where I fly out, yeah. it just shows the outline of everybody, but yes. nothing detailed. But it shows, you know, if you have something yes. on and, you. And, mm -hmm. you know, for me, being a health nut, I don't know. And they say it's not that. But to me, it's just the radiation. I would just rather skip that. Whether it's a little bit or not, I don't know. Would you rather show your face I, for the facial recognition? You know what I would rather do? Oh, yeah, I don't care about okay, that. Yeah. But I would rather just go through and get a light body massage. Pat down? Pat down? <laughs> yeah, that, that's You're good. Clear. I'm good to go. <laughs> You're clear? <laughs> no, if it, Tom's right. If it keeps us safe, it's just your face. If you ain't got nothing to hide, then there's no worries. Yes. I agree with all that. Right. Yeah. Informative today. All right, coming up, Cox Health is here to talk about National Prostate Cancer Awareness Month. Don't go away. Ozark's Live is just getting started.